Good morning, YouTube. This is today, Tuesday, December 18th, 2012, in Granite City, Illinois. This is Mark Holloman reporting on YouTube. You know, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the incidents that took the incident that took place in Connecticut, and I just want to say that that is uncalled for. That is. A tragic in incident. It's just like having being uh, not knowing what is going to go down with your kids when you send them to school, and you never know from one day to the next what's going to happen. And I think that the schools need to have more security. They need to have more. Uh, security for the kids, for the teachers. They need to watch what's going on. The teachers need to be more alert and alert the kids and the principals and everything. These schools need to go to know, need to know what's going on, and they need to have a system of how for anybody that gets in. I mean, this guy that went in, this kid that went in and killed, 20-year-old kid who went in and killed all these little kids and then and some of these adults. He he was not even, I don't think, a former student of school. And he went in with automatic sawed-off rifle and shotguns and everything else and was blowing these little kids away. He killed them for no reason. And on that day, I believe that that, that, that was the work of the devil, that Satan visited our country, that Satan visited the United States and went in to that school and took their lives of those kids and those kids were innocent kids they didn't have no problems they had their whole life ahead of them and yet kids today are just as cruel as the ones back when before whenever they went to school then we have this incident here in our little hometown of Granite City Illinois where two kids were caught, seen her over her talking about a BB gun in school, and they caused the whole school to be locked down, and the kid and everybody be sent home. That's not right. You send your kids to school to get an education, not to go be worried and be scared about somebody who has a gun. We don't need those kind of people in our school. We need to keep our kids protected. We need to put a protection shield around our kids, around our school, around our community to let people know who come in and commit violent and hateful crimes that we're not going to tolerate that. That that's not going to be put, it's, that that's not going to be taken lightly. We need to stop all this kind of thing, all these kind of things like this, all these hate crimes and all that. We need to stop all that. We need to put up, we need to put a barrier around our kids. We need to let our kids know that we protect them, that we stand before, with them, before them, beside them, whatever it takes, and stop the violence in America. Violence, that's another topic for another time later on down the road. But, you know, this, this heinous act of this 20-year-old kid going in and killing these kids, that's uncalled for. That don't need to be. So... When you see somebody that is actually doing something that they're not supposed to do with a gun, make it your priority to call the police. Don't approach them but st and keep away from them but, and don't approach them because they're armed and dangerous. You don't want to get yourself shot. You don't want to get yourself killed. You want to call the police and have them come and just try to disarm them and take care of what business they have. That's just like drive-by shootings in St. Louis. You hear, but we haven't heard about that now for a while. But some of them that do happen are incidents where they just drive by and they and they shoot people. You don't need that. That needs to stop too. All this hatred, all this violence needs to stop in America because one day God's going to come back to Earth, and He in all His glory, and He's going to let people know that He reigns rules forever, and that if you're going to make it to heaven and be with Him. 
the need, everybody needs to put a stop to the heinous acts going on here in 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 the United States of America. It's uh, it's ridiculous. You don't let kid people in school with guns to do whatever because they're criminals. And not only did the kid kill his these kids, the 20 year old kid killed these kids and killed himself, but he also killed his mother too. And that's got to stop too. So we can't, like I said, we can't have all this going on in America. We can't have this going on in the world around the world. So I'm begging you, I'm asking you, stop the violence in America. And when you see something like that happen in your hometown, Try to be one of the first responders if you can to call 911 and let people know that the appropriate emergency tact unit and the police in your area, in your town, know what's going on. Because it's not right that our little kids have to die and suffer the way they did. This has been Mark Holland reporting in Granite City, Illinois. I hope everyone has a great day. And if there's any more developments or anything coming up, We'll be the first to let you know right here on YouTube and Facebook. So have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you all later. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.